In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really simple loading animation inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you have this new sequence created, we first just want to go ahead and create a new solid. So we'll go into our project bin and you can either right click where there's a vacant space and go new item. Or alternatively, we can go new item button down here and we'll select a color mat. So we'll select this color mat here, select OK. And then you just want to go ahead and select a color of your choice. So I'm going to go for a nice soft blue. We'll press OK on this, press OK on this, and then we'll drag that color mat onto our sequence. So as you can see, I've got a five second blue screen. And after those five seconds, that will just disappear. But of course, that is not what we're looking for. So I'm going to select that color mat. We'll go up into the effect controls and you can see we've got motion and then under motion, we've got opacity. I'm going to select create ellipse mask and that will instantly create this circle. So from here, I'm just going to go mask expansion and decrease this. So we'll decrease this down to a smaller number like this. Then we'll go mask feather and pull this down to zero because at the moment there's this softening around the edge. You can really see that if I click off, there's this soft edge. We're going to get rid of that and make that zero. Then at the moment, you can see it's not actually a circle. We want a nice round circle. So I'm just going to select that mask and I'm just going to pull this down until we get a circle. There we go. That looks about right. Now from here, I'm just going to go into motion and I'm going to change the anchor point to the middle. So this right here is the anchor point. I want to put this in the very center because if I was to animate this, it's not going to animate evenly. So I'm just going to put the anchor point in the center of that circle. And then I'm actually just going to adjust this again one more time because it's not quite a perfect circle. There we go. Just going to double check the anchor point is in the middle. It is now. And then we'll just zoom out. And as you can see, we've just got this nice circle in the middle of our video. So in order to begin with this loading effect, I'm first just going to go roughly a second in. We'll create a brand new keyframe on position. And then I'm just going to go back to the beginning roughly, maybe go a few frames to the right. And we'll pull the position down. So as you can see, I've just got this soft push up on the action. Now at the moment, we don't want to see it waiting to come. So we're just going to go towards the end of that action and then go back on ourselves a few keyframes. We'll create a brand new keyframe on the opacity at 100%. And then just after that starts moving, we'll pull the opacity down to 0%. So let's play this back. As you can see, that looks really cool. I do feel like that movement is a bit too much though. I feel like we don't need that much movement. So I'm just going to move this first keyframe over to the cursor and I'm just going to move the position up and then I'll move it back to where that was. There you go. That looks really cool. Now from here at the moment, everything just looks a bit too robotic and a bit too computer generated. So I'm just going to add some character in. So I'm going to highlight all of those keyframes, right click one of them, go temporal interpolation and select ease in. As you can see, that looks a lot nicer now. It slowly calms down before it hits that final resting point. Now from here, we're just going to let that hold on screen for a second. And then we can let that fade out. So we'll create a brand new keyframe on opacity at 100% and we'll fade that out. There you go. That looks really good. So from here, we can just make a cut at the end of that. So we'll press C, make a cut there and delete the last half of that because we're only interested and the part of the animation, the part of the video where there's actual animation happening. So we've got this two and a half second clip of this ball just appearing and then fading away. Now from here, I'm just going to nest this. So we're going to right click, we'll go nest and we'll call this circle. Press OK. Now I'm just going to make two copies of this. So we'll go option, hold that and drag that up and same again, option, drag that up. Or alternatively, if that's not working, you can just copy and paste it. So we'll go Command C, Command V, Command V, and then just drag those on top like this. So we've got three circles now on top of each other. So we're just going to go to that top layer and we'll move that over to the left. We'll move that bottom layer over to the right and make sure that gap is roughly the same. And then when we play this back, you can see they all come on at the same time. And that's not what we want. We want there to be a nice subtle delay. So we are going to just zoom in and then we'll go maybe six keyframes to the right or six frames to the right. And we'll pull that second one over to the right. Let's see how that looks. That's better. 
Now we're just going to move that last one 12 frames over to the right. So six to this one and then six across again. Let's see how that looks. That looks good, but the problem is it's going the wrong way. So I'm just going to swap the top one and the bottom one. There you go. That's now going the right way and they all fade off at the same time. So they all come up and then they fade away. So essentially, this is just our loop here. So I'm just going to highlight all of those circles, right click, go into nest and we'll call this loading loop. There we go. So we've just got this one video of this loading loop now happening. So essentially, all we need to do here at this point is just stagger these on. So we're just going to make a copy of this. So command C, command V. And then as this one starts to fade out like this, we'll bring this next one in on video layer two. There we go. That looks really nice. So we'll play that back from the beginning. You can see that comes up, fades out, and the next one comes in and carries on. So I'm just going to mark this point with a cut. So I'm going to press C on the keyboard to load the razor tool. We'll make a cut there. Then I'll just delete this second one. And we'll recopy these first videos, paste that in, and then just drop that in on that mark. And then basically just keep repeating this process over and over again. So I've got three of those. I'm just going to copy all of those add this into that mark and now that's going to play for 13 seconds that looks really good of course if you wanted this to run for longer just highlight all of those copy them paste and then you're just going to drag this in on top of this marker here if it makes life easier for you by the way if this timeline is going to get too big then feel free to just pull them down like this. So after this cut, just pull that down. Make sure it doesn't shift to the right or to the left. And there you go. You've now got this 25 second loading animation on your project. So let's see how this looks. That's coming up, fading away, coming up, fading away. And then you can just basically just keep repeating this process over and over again for depending on how long you want this to run for. And then once you've done that, we can just highlight everything. We'll right click, select nest, and we'll call this loading animation. And now that this is all pre-comped or nested into its own sequence, we can just reduce the scale. We can place this wherever we want in the frame. And that's just going to carry out that action in its new position. Of course, as well, if you didn't actually want this blue circle, if you wanted to change the color, that's completely fine. We'll just go into the loading animation nest, go into this nest, go into this nest. This is our color mats. This is our circle. Now we can just double click the color mat and we'll change the color to, let's go white. Then we'll go back to our original sequence. And there you go. We've now got this loading animation in white now animating. Now, if you wanted to add a color gradient to this, then you can just search for effects and you can either search for ramp, which is going to give you a two color gradient ramp. So black and white, or you can go for a four color gradient. So if you just press four, it should come up towards the bottom four color gradient, drop that on. And now you can just go ahead and just make this gradient. So I'm just going to move all of these positions in closer like this. Then we can select all of our colors. So let's go for, let's go for a blue color scheme. So we've got a lighter blue, a darker blue, somewhere towards purples, maybe it's like a darker purple. And then we can have more of a pink maybe, or more of a red just to add a bit of an accent. There you go, we'll bring that fourth one in a little as well. There you go, so that now has this nice soft gradient applied to it. And when we go back to our main composition, you can see that has now got that nice gradient applied to this animation. But there you go, that is how you create this simple loading animation inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. There's no plugins involved, it's all done inside of Premiere and it's nice and easy. So there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.